Okay. This is going to be a short little tutorial on getting starting to SRL. Speedruns Live, I'm sure you're all familiar with the streams page. You know, watch all your favorite speedrunners. But I'm going to try and make a short little tutorial on getting started in the channel and how to start races and how to do your own speedrun races. So, first, you got to pick a nick, or you know, a nickname that you're going to use. And once you've started racing, you can't change your nick, so make sure it's something you like. Uh, I'm just going to use Twig Example for this. Um, so you're going to connect, and you're going to see all your other speedrunners and everything on the side. You have your ops, and here's RaceBot, the bot that we use to uh, start our races, to keep track of the time in the races, to keep everything up. You got your ops and your voices, and then everybody else. This is Speedruns Live, you can see some people talking, and one of the very first things you need to do is actually read the FAQ. Um, it's a really good source of information, it tells you all about, you know, you can't use turbo functions and emulators, uh, you can't do anything that you couldn't do on a console, and then one of the most important things is how do I register my nickname? And this is so somebody can't steal you steal your identity basically on the IRC and as you can see it has the command right here slash nick serve register password email and the best way to do this actually in MIBIT is to private message yourself and that's so in case you mess up and instead of typing a slash you take a comma or you mess up typing the command the entire chat doesn't get your information so the way you're going to PM yourself is you're going to double click and you can just go to the PM or you can just double click the name actually and as you see it brings up a private message so right here we're just going to do slash nixer identify let's double check just to make sure password email so I'm just going to make it test and I actually made a test email for this uh, what did I call it um, shit I think it was twig example at yahoo.com. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's uh, slash nixer register. This is why I'm an idiot. Nixer register uh, test at twig example at yahoo.com. Okay. Oh, fine. Okay. By the way, you can press up to do the previous command. Uh, we're going to do twig rules. Okay, so you're going to see I'm registered. And what this does is, whenever you log into your account, it's going to ask you to identify. And that's what this is right here. Slash nixerve identify password. So I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm going to actually just, you know, refresh the page, so you're going to see, choose your new nickname, so we're going to do Twig Example. Okay, your nickname is registered, Other, you, I have to identify or it's going to take it away from me. So, I need to PM myself, slash nickserve identify Twig Rules password accepted, you are now recognized. Okay, so now, if I hadn't have done that, it would have turned me into what we call a true skill, or somebody without um, an identify. It's basically a, it forces you into a nickname you don't want. Let's see if I can see, yeah, here's a couple of them. True skill with a bunch of numbers. And it's basically to protect your identity. If you don't nick serve quickly enough, um, it kicks you off that nickname. Okay, so you have your nickname, it's yours. Whenever you log in, you have to do that. And the reason why you want to PM yourself is because if I had typed in, like, dot nickserve identify and then my password, you know, twig rules, somebody could have taken my account, basically. Um, I forget the command to switch it if you accidentally do that. Um, I'm sure you can Google it. 